But yeah, I'm going to show you how you can add your email accounts into your smart leads, how you can warm it out, how you can set up your DMARC, and the list goes on. So yeah, I'm already in the smart lead portal. If you don't have that account yet, I highly suggest that you try it. You can use my link description below to try this awesome tool. Now this tool basically use if you're doing email outreach. So they do have integration. It's very perfect if you use any of this platform. You have Zoho or HubSpot. Otherwise, um, you can also use this app here if you use you are using a different CRM platform. Okay. Now, yeah, so we're in the smart lead portal and then you will need to add some email address to make the smart lead work so you click on the add account in here you have options you have three options two options rather um, there's a bulk way and there's also an individual way now in most cases we always want to use a branding email address we don't want to use to we don't want to throw random gmail and outlook account so i'm going to start first in in here or i'm probably just going to do this tutorial instead of the Gmail one. So you click on the SMTP or the envelope icon, and then um, you just need to fill in the details in here. Now, if you have a spare hosting provider, um, I highly suggest that you create an email address for that email address there because mostly hosting provider allows you to create a limited email address versus on like subscribing to a paid outlook subscription or paid um gmail subscription so what i did in here is i set up this custom domains in here as a yeah as an ad domain so if we type in control k um add our domains so yeah, I, I set up a subdomains for in SiteGround, but most of the hosting provider has the same process. So you need, I highly suggest that you create a subdomain so you can create um, an email address on that subdomain. So that's the strategy that I did to save money and to make things um, like cleaner as well. And we don't want to use really our our main email address we just prefer to have in a subdomain and we don't also want to purchase a new domain so that will be an extra fee which you can avoid if you do it right so i have a subdomains and then inside of that um inside ground there is an options to um create unlimited email address if you don't have a a, a hosting provider yet you can use my link below to get discount in SiteGround as well and if you need help with the configuration i'll be happy to assist you i only charge a hundred dollars for that so just in case you need help anyway so email accounts and then you once you already set up your subdomain you put in the email um let's say let's just pick a different one because i already done that um maybe the ai one and then i will add this I'm going to create a new email address and then generate a password. Of course, I'm going to change this later. Password, um, copy, create, and then we'll save that. We'll paste that password. And then um, for the coda, I want to maximize it. And in here, in the email accounts, you need to put in the details. So what's the name? Um, here, move that. And then the password is this. And then for the SMTP host, in the site ground, you should able to see the email configuration. If you're not using site around again this option should be available so you just need to talk to your hosting support or hosting provider support so for the smtp this is the outgoing server you put it there and then what is the port the port is 465 
which is right and then SSL now message per day you might have you may get an error if you maximize it so I highly suggest to just put 50 or 100 um, yeah so that's fine and then here for the IMOP you need to put in your email incoming email um, incoming email host and then the IMAP port which is 993 now if you want let's say you send an email to this custom or this random email address you generated but then if you want that you want to receive their reply to your personal email address instead of using the IMAP of your generated email address you can also use yours just click this one in here set different email address you put your email address you put your username imap password um host and then the port but i don't really i it it's like it's a case-to-case -case scenario because like if the lead only responds one but it's and it's not really a real lead then I highly suggest just to keep the conversation going to your generic email address. If there's really like a very, you know, a good conversation going on and you think it's really a, uh, a good lead to convert, then that, that's the time that maybe you used your real email address and then put it into the CRM platform. So, yeah, so I'm going to click on verify email account. Oh, I'm going to just remove that and click on verify email account. And you can also, by the way, put your signature if you want. And um, don't worry if you forgot to put that, you can still get back to your email accounts. So it's ready verify and you click on save. And then if you want to put your signature again, you can you can do that anytime in here you can use the code the HTML or just keep it empty so now um, there's also so all of my email address that I created is already warm up or there's no warning anymore because I configured the DMARC and the SPF that is so important to make sure that all of your emails will not land to the spam folder so what i did is um i set up the dmark into our cloudflare account because our cloudflare um, we use cdn for all of our email address so if you go in in here into our dns zone editor and let's say let's type in ai so AI so I configured mm -hmm. yeah in here um, let's just use AI so these are all the AI so MX bomb protection this is um, in the what do you call that it's the shop um, host site ground thing but I did something Where's the DMARC? So here, SPF proof. I did something in here. SPF proof. The SPF proof, you can found that into your hosting provider. This value, you can found that in your hosting provider. You can ask your hosting provider about it, by the way. And then, um, yeah, you need to add a TXC record for your SPF proof to, because usually if you just add an account into this email address, you will get a yellow warning if you don't configure your SPF proof correctly and then you also need to configure your dmark so i this value um i actually asked or checked the i asked the value or i probably checked the documentation from siteground about this so you also need to add another txt record for your dmark so i have two txt records that i put in for my dmark so yeah, you, usually if you haven't configured your DMARC in your SPF record, you will see a warning into your email accounts in Smart Lead. Right now, I have configured everything, so uh, I haven't seen any warning here. And as you can see, like newly added accounts has an NA reputation, but when you start adding 
or you can warm that up so enable the warm up when you said enable the warm up it, it smartly it will start sending like email to warm up the the account or the email address and the goal for that is we don't want to to mark our email address as a spam because remember like if you go into the email address you have an option in here if you want to report it as a spam or not which can lead your reputation bad if you receive a lot of like spam reports from the person you are sending an email so yeah that's how you can work it out okay i actually forgot if you want to use the bulk version um, they have a CSV sample, so you just need to download that. And then here, so smart lead. These are like the, it's actually super straightforward. So instead of like, instead of like putting it one by one, you put all the email address in here at once. So you can remove that part. And usually smtp port is just the same so on our end since we use site ground um, this is the smtp and then you just need to you know and then like the password so you won't be you know putting it one by one you can just add it there and that makes your life easier <laughs> Um, actually, this is the, my bad, so this is the IMAP, it's 993, and then the email max is 50, if you want to warm up or not, you can set them true, um, SMTP host is this. So yeah, um, that's how easy you can do bulk email. So once you fill in the name, email address, username, like the fields that was asked in this part is just the same. It's just like the CSV is your, you know, you're importing it in bulk. So it's still the same. Um, for the email address, you actually just need to click on connect and then it will follow the rest of the wizard instruction for you um which i don't want but this is very straightforward tutorial and you need to use the you need to have a g suite account in google this is not a free gmail account so i don't really recommend this one because like every account in gmail is there's a subscription involved like if you're fine with that then good to go you can do it but like i just prefer this because it's cheaper um but yeah that's how you can configure it let me know guys if you have any question um comment down below and i'm happy to assist you have a great day